This fella right here is pretty interesting and helpful. So every time I actually watch TV, uh, play some games, he's here sitting there and at the same time in the morning he's very useful I guess because he waters the plants so he's, he lo that's why he loves this place. This other little fellow right here is actually quite shy, uh, but he also loves soft stuff. So he's here uh, staying and chilling in one of my drawers where I put mostly my caps there and he loves to stay there. So yeah, sometimes he comes out, sometimes or most of the time he just hides. This little guy right here loves the warmth of the electronics. Um, he just loves the, I guess, the electronic radiation or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, because of that, he just hangs out with me here at my work desk. This guy, I would say, is the most useful uh, in a sense. <laughs> he keeps the toilet clean, bug free, uh, because the toilets, I would say, the, mo the, the part of the house that I really don't like cleaning. So he does that, so I love him for that, so he can chill here whenever he wants. The next one is actually the grumpiest of the bunch uh, and he actually is the one who keeps me in line, keeps me in check 
of not over drinking all of this stuff so he's the caretaker of this place i hope he's not drinking as well so this guy's crazy very grumpy look at him but he does a very good job and he takes it very seriously This guy right here, my good friend Bob, I call him Bob, he just stays here and eats. The good thing is, he reminds me if I need to buy more groceries or if the, the stock is already gone, he reminds me to buy some groceries. So either way, I'm good with him, he's a good friend, he can stay here whenever he wants. Welcome and welcome back to Engine's Play. So I do hope you enjoyed that. It was really fun doing it. But that was just the first part. More on the spotlight video and a little bit of photography. The photos of the individual monsters. I kind of wanted to take photos of the monsters individually in the different places in the house where they, they kind of wanted to stay. So I wanted to incorporate that. So that's why I give kind of a little bit of story in there just to have some fun anyway i do love it the next part would be more on the photography of gorax um, and also with his monsters uh, in my mini studios taking high resolution shots very clean shots as well but having those lighting um, i will be sharing with you the the setup and i also did a light painting on gorax and his monsters because Ever since I saw this piece when I received it, I already have it in my head. It's just one shot though, but as you know, I tried a lot of times to get the perfect shot and it looks awesome. The current setup, um, I decided to have like four, four lighting, one main light, which I like to uh, give emphasis to the front part of Gorax and his head. Um, but I will be lowering, lowering down the intensity. Right now it's 80%, so I will lower this down um, to like maybe 10 or 15, something like that. Uh, by the way, camera is here with 85 lens, um, Canon lens. Uh, I do have like lighting uh, with colored lighting. This one right here at the side, like a fill light or a backlight, which is yellow to really brighten up this bad boy and then there's also red lights at the back as well so i really want to emphasize like beautiful red lines i did try like different colors like green blue even yellow purple i, I tried a lot it didn't feel right to be honest so i ended up with red which really complements it with the red and black and all of the other colors and as you can see i'm also using my typical blackboard um, background and then also the the flooring i would say i do have sometimes a problem not really a big one but or a very significant one but it's just a matter of cleaning it in lightroom just to remove this line because normally it's there but either way so far so good i really love it
So the concept of how I want to do this is very straightforward. Uh, the angle is from below going up. I like that composition because it gives this very nice uh, angle right here with the arms and you can still see all the monsters. I just love that. Uh, and with regards to the light streaks or let's say the, the powers that he is basically conjuring, I'll be using this flashlight. Um, it's not the best one, I would say. I would be able to find another that is better. But with this, I think it would be enough. Uh, so the idea here is that I move this light go from here. It goes to his hands, swirls around, and shows like somehow like it's connecting to these monsters with all of this uh, pointy stuff right there like that and then going to his fingers and all of that and at the same time i also need to light his eyes i think the this flashlight would be showing at some point i hope i get it right that it's not too much um so that's the main idea that was the setup and also how i did the light painting what i actually didn't mention there was the use of anti filter because i kind of wanted to keep the the lighting setup from the other photos uh, have it the same for this light painting because I like it it turned out really good so I want to keep that so what I did in order to lower down the exposure at the same time also slower or, or like yeah making the shutter slower for the light painting was to add the anti filter so what I'm using is actually this is a dice C variable anti filter it's until it's actually from 6 to 10 uh, so it will black out um, and then if you lower the shutter speed it will kind of matches the very dark ND so that's kind of how I do it to have still a, a proper exposure and also a light painting so that's how I get the photos in any case uh, the photo that ended up was really good I was very satisfied I really wanted to do other uh, angles but it kind of took me some time because again it's not that easy doing it a lot of photos i i, I took a lot of photos until i got i actually got like a few three i think or two that i like uh but i ended up with this one so yeah it, it just looks so good go um that was the spotlight video and photography session of house of god gorax the monster maker based from the art of skinner i will be posting the photos um all of the photos uh in my instagram and also facebook i'll leave the links down below so do check that out as well thank you for house of god for this amazing masterful piece i really enjoyed doing the spotlight videos and photography it looks awesome i'll be doing some let's say color manipulation or something to some of the photos because i kind of i, I kind of always want to try some different kinds of colors to this piece um just like i did for the previous house of gold uh, pieces anyway um i hope you like the video i hope you enjoyed learned something also uh leave your comments down below your feedback let me know on what you think of this piece what do you think on the spotlight video and also the, the photography and the photos themselves Either way, thank you. Um, I hope you click the thumbs up and also share this with everyone. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to Ancient's Place. And see you in the next video.